was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotted? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. <sighs> You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yai Miko, everything should be fine. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Would you mind coming along? Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is... I'm afraid that will be a little difficult. Don't worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. The reason being, it is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamora Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurers Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. The hmm, I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. Well, since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders so I'm afraid it still could take some time. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. That is perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Komori Tea House like? Hot Pot? So, they call it a tea house despite the fact that it is obviously a hot pot restaurant? Huh, how confusing. Anyway, let's go take a look. Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, 
I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Taramaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They struck late at night while there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box, but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. Oh, Taramaru, what are you doing out here? How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. Uh, how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly. So we just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately, and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. Mm, yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. Ah, okay, I think I understand now. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. Thank you, Tarumaru. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. This is bizarre. How would anyone think to look here? Uh, boss, didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? I can't believe we got caught. Just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid, who the heck are you guys anyway? We shouldn't waste any more time on these people. Life is tough in the Resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? We should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mer- We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. That's enough! Tie them up and take them away. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so heavy-handed. But thieves still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. <laughs> I am pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamori Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, 
We can now return the box to you. Here, please take it. Oh, thank goodness. Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So, let's head there now and open it. Yes, it looks like they're all here. Some personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Water bottles, towels, knee guards, just everyday items, but each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. We all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. You see, their swords and polearms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items, artifacts of their daily lives. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these. Instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I, every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. Yeah, but right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. <laughs> 